Hello, this is Tom at the Tractor Rescue Ranch. I wanted to do another update on this John Deere 4020. <laughs> Almost called it my 60. Anyway, I spent all afternoon here today cleaning up these parts. Got them all tore apart, cleaned out put back together. I'm going to put it back together now with some oil. But I had one thing. I thought you guys might want to see what's inside of all these. It really helps me when I'm working on something to see visual pictures of what's going on. But anyway, one thing I found, this last piston here, and I haven't taken time to look in the book to see what it controls, but it was, it's got that spring in there to hold it up, and it was stuck in that cylinder. It wouldn't go up even under the spring pressure. So, if that one happens to be part of the system for the power takeoff, that might be my problem. I'm going to have to, I'm going to lube this up really well, put it back together. I don't see anything vis visible or feel anything rough stuff on it. I don't know why it was stuck. So I'm hoping that cleaning it up real good, lubing it, put it back together one way or another, even if I have to take a little light emery cloth and clean that up in there, I'll get it to move back and forth freely before I put it back together. So that's possibly maybe what, maybe what was going wrong. I'll have to just see if that was part of the same system that I'm doing. So anyway, that's where we're at at this point. Sure hard to get all these old parts cleaned up, all that old dry grease off of them and stuff. It takes a lot of effort, a lot of work. I've been using that parts cleaner and lots of scrubbing. Okay, I've got these valves all back together and I just wanted to show you this. This end valve here is the one that... I don't know why the camera wants to flash like that. But anyway, that end valve right there is the one that was stuck down in the bottom there. So I got it freed up now so the spring on it, the load on the spring is pushing it up. What I did is just taped on a piece of emery cloth on the end of a long drill bit and just worked a little bit up in there in that aluminum deal since the valve itself seemed real smooth it was just hanging up up in here in that aluminum case so I got that part of it taken care of everything's been cleaned out and blown out with compressed air and reassembled got it all put back together here so now I'm just waiting on some new gaskets that I've got ordered. I still need to clean up over here on the tractor. Need to clean up that mating surface there pretty good. And then also I got a this spacer piece I need to get cleaned up good. But other than that, things are going back together and I am really hopeful that maybe that valve that was stuck was what my problem was. Um, if not, I still got the issue with all of that silicone. You can see this is all just silicone stuff that I pulled off of all the little ports that had spilled out into all the ports here in, in that valve. So hopefully get things cleaned up here and 
reassembled, then you like my problem will be solved. Thanks for watching.